Okay, so here we go. How do I graph these on a number line? First one, x equals 2. Right there's my answer. x equals 2 on a number line. Very, very easy. Next one, how do I graph this one? Well, x has to be greater than 2, open circle, arrow going to the right. x has to be less than negative 3, open circle, arrow going to the left. Last one, how do I graph x is less than 3 and x is greater than or equal to 0? x greater than or equal to 0. Uh, closed dot at 0, arrow going to the right. Open circle at 3, arrow going to the left. This is where my answer is, inside of the closed circle and the open circle. Okay, here we go. How do I graph x equals 3? 1, 2, 3. I'm crossing the x-axis at 3, so x equals 3 is a vertical line. How do I graph y equals negative 2? I cross the y-axis at negative 2, so I draw a horizontal line at y equals negative 2, and I'm done. Some people confuse which one's which. x equals 0 is crossing the x-axis at 0. Here is the x-axis. Here's the x-axis, I'm crossing the x-axis, so here's the line, x equals 0. How about y equals 0? y equals 0, I'm crossing the y-axis. The y-axis is right here, so my line y equals 0 is a horizontal line right there. Okay, most of the time you hope that I give you an easy equation like this, because you know that this is your slope. And you know that this is your y-intercept. So I go to 2, positive 2. I put a point. There's my y-intercept. I'm going to go down 2. I'm going to go right 3. And right here is my next point. And I draw my line. And I'm done the first problem with the equal sign. I drew my equation at an equal sign. This inequality problem is similar. Once again, it has the same intercept, positive 2. It has the same slope, down 2, right 3, put a point. This means that I draw a solid line. So my solid line is right there. And do you remember how to shade? Which side do I shade? I reminded you that greater means shade above, less than means shade below. And so in this problem, I'm shading above. This is my above in this problem. This is my below. I am shading above. All right, so I want both of these to be in y equals m x plus b form. So in this left problem, I need to subtract 2x and get 2y equals negative 2x plus 4. I need to divide by 2. So I get y equals, I need to take the negative 2x and divide by 2, and take the 4 and divide by 2, and I get y equals negative 1x plus 2. And hopefully you realize that negative 1x means negative 1 over 1x plus 2. In my inequality, I need to divide by negative 2. And I get y, ooh, did you remember to flip the inequality because I divided by a negative? And do you, and you get, excuse me, and you get negative 1x minus 4. In my left problem, I can put my, I can put my slope, I can put my y-intercept at 2. I can go down one over one, put a second point. I can go down one over one, put a third point. Down one over one, I can get lots of points. They're all lining up on this line. And here's my line 
for the problem on the left side. On the right side, my y-intercept is at negative 4. 1, 2, 3, down here at negative 4. My slope is down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. I could go up 1, left 1, which is the opposite of down 1 over 1. Uh, I need a solid line and less than means shade below and below the line is down here. Is it a function? Is it a function? So in my left problem I can do a vertical line test. Here's my vertical line. I start going across. It only it only passes there's only one point right here. I keep I keep going. There's only one point there. There's only one point there. There's only one point that goes through. There's only one point that goes through. There's only one point that goes through. Is it a function? Yes. It is a function. Next problem. Start checking it. Take my vertical line. Start going across. I'm okay. I'm okay. I am not okay. Right here's a problem. So I fail the vertical line test. No. It is not a function. This is an absolute value equation. So I know the graph is going to be a V and the V is either going to be up or the V is going to be down. I look at this and I know because it is positive, I know that my graph is up. My vertex comes from um, this point and this point. The phrase that I told you that could help you remember is opposite same because why do I use opposite same? I say that because my x value is opposite positive 1, so it's negative 1. And my y value is the same thing as the negative 2. My vertex is at left 1, down 2. Here's the vertex of my absolute value equation. I can finish graphing this by using, this is my slope. So I go up to right one, and there's the right part of my V. From my vertex, I can go up to left one and get the left part of my V. And here is the graph of this absolute value function. 